Hello and welcome to Aging and Awesome. Today we are sniffing around. Over at Lakeside Manor, a senior living community in Reno, the residents love their furry friends. We'll show you how living in a community can mean bringing along your pet too. Research shows while more people are taking advantage of Medicare benefits, such as hospice, many people are waiting too long. What's the solution? We explain palliative care. I made a bird, it didn't fly, and I was very disappointed that I couldn't make that bird fly. This inventor can't make people fly, but he's sure helping them glide. We show you a new innovation with the walker. It's gonna be a great show. Aging and Awesome begins right now. It's one of the toughest decisions a family can make. When is it time to call hospice? As hard as it is to talk about, hospice care can alleviate some of the stress the disease process brings. But maybe you or a loved one are facing a terminal illness, but not quite ready to give up on treatment. Well, there's another option called palliative care. Have a look. Joining us now here at Lakeside Manor is Kathy Baldridge. She's a registered nurse with Infinity Hospice Care. Kathy, I want to ask you because it's kind of a fancy medical word, palliative care. Break it down for us. Palliative care is the chronic management of life-limiting illnesses that a patient might have. And it's kind of a precursor to hospice in a way for some people? It can be, yes. And so when you go into palliative care, what exactly do you get? What does that mean? Um, in palliative care, you have a physician and social workers that will come into the home and help um, create an individualized plan of care for, for the patient. But not all people that go on palliative care go on hospice? No. And no. why is that? Um, some people coming home from the hospital that go on to palliative care um, are maybe in the earlier stages of their disease process and they, they need help learning and understanding their um, disease process and how to manage that at home. And then they, um, you know, re return or to their regular life off from palliative care at that point, and maybe they come back later into the palliative care program as their disease process exacerbates. So what would you say family members or patients themselves uh, would say about it? Do they, does it less, lessen their stress? Does it make sure they don't get to have to go to the hospital all the time? What are some of the benefits? Correct, that, that's exactly the benefit of palliative care is to help patients be able to remain in their home and manage their, um, their care themselves at home and to understand their disease process and their medications and, and how to treat those symptoms as they rise. That's huge, being able to stay at home, not have to worry as much about getting to the hospital you have your own physician, you said, right? You get Correct. One. That's amazing. Through the, through the Medicare program, which is Correct. great. Medicare Correct. pays for it. Yes. What are some of the most common diseases you say people on palliative care have? Some of the most common diseases are like COPD, congestive heart failure, um, Alzheimer's, other dementia-related diseases, ALS, renal kidney diseases, diabetes, um, any chronic illness that can have life-limiting capacity. Now we mentioned this can be a precursor to hospice. What are the main differences between a palliative care patient and a hospice patient? A hospice patient is a patient that's entered the end stages of life and they have um, been diagnosed or prognosed to have six months or less um, left to live in their disease process. And with hospice, there's even more benefits than palliative care. Correct. Because it's, it's kind of the big brother of palliative care in a way. Right, with hospice <laughs> you have physicians and social workers just like you do in palliative care but you also have the benefit of um, nurse practitioners and registered nurses, LPNs, um, volunteers, social um, mm -hmm. worker again and your spiritual care. Right and when is a t uh, time to call let's say someone is watching and maybe considering palliative care or hospice when is a good time to call? A good time to call is you know whenever you have any type of a life limiting illness and you're struggling with that chronic care management and you need a little help in, in the home, maybe it's gotten more difficult to be able to go out to the hospital, their doctor's appointments, mm -hmm. or they're having more increased hospital visits, um, that would be a time to consider palliative care. 
Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I think a lot of people uh, are scared of the word hospice, and now maybe right. they're a little scared of the word palliative care. I hope not. I hope this <laughs> eases any tension, but uh, it can be a really good thing because you're at home, right. you get the care. Uh, that you need really concierge in a lot of ways. Right, and can help decrease the um, the hospital trips and you know admissions to the hospital. They can manage that disease process at home. And their family members, I bet, I'm sure you guys help a lot of families too. Correct. In this process. Correct. Yes, education and counseling is also provided for the families and the caregivers for the patients. And well, because you're actually caring for them in a lot of ways, where it might lessen the stress of a family member too. Correct. Right. Yes. Great, Kathy. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Me. Thank you. Aging and Awesome is brought to you by Infinity Hospice Care, family owned and operated, serving Nevada for over 10 years. They provide dedicated, compassionate, expert care for your loved ones. Visit infinityhospicecare.com today. Joe is on vacation sailing the ocean on an Alaskan cruise. So much fun, have fun, Joe. So George is here for this week's Senior Savings Tip. What do you got for us, George? Well, this is a fun event that brings out a lot of wonderful organizations in the community, and it is all free. The Walk to End Alzheimer's is Saturday, September 21 at the Sparks Marina, starting at 9 a.m. Historically, the weather is beautiful to walk the two mile loop of the Sparks Marina. Funds raised at the walk will benefit local programs providing care, support, and education to anyone impacted by Alzheimer's or dementia. A portion will be contributed to groundbreaking research. More than 1,600 people are expected to participate in the walk, along with hundreds of volunteers, sponsors, and family members. You can head to our website, agingandawesome.com, and sign up for our Aging and Awesome team. Just click the events page, it's totally free. Help us take another step towards a world without Alzheimer's disease. Love the Alzheimer's Walk. Thank you so much, George. What a great event to uh, get people to come on out and start becoming active. This is one of those events that you can start your own active lifestyle, but the, even the more plus of that is you're helping others by getting involved. Absolutely. And we all need we all need to help more in this Alzheimer's. It's not just about a group of doctors or somebody. It's about yeah, all of us helping. Absolutely. It's affecting so many people. So many. Great. September 21st, sign up, head to our website, and we'll see you out there. This Senior Savings Tip is brought to you by Donald Bernard Investment Advisor. For over 30 years, native Nevadan Donald Bernard has built an outstanding local and national reputation specializing in retirement. For income ideas, give Don a call at 775-786-8500. No client is too big or too small. Basically, it means that all of my ligaments are loosey-goosey. Traditional mobility equipment wasn't ideal for one woman with specific needs, but thanks to advanced walking technology, she got more than just a few steps back. Her story is ahead. And we head over to Lakeside Manor for a visit with especially hairy residents of the senior living community. (laughs) And a ride in my cab, plus a trick to make life slick with Mr. George here. Don't you go anywhere. Aging and Awesome will be right back. Lakeside Manor is the official home of Aging and Awesome. Setting the standard for senior living in Northern Nevada, Lakeside Manor residents enjoy three meals daily, weekly housekeeping, laundry services, activities, and transportation, all while being in the heart of Reno. Take a tour of Lakeside Manor today. Nevada's retired aged population is booming. 150,000 retired aged people moved here in just the last decade. Aging and Awesome is all about them. Averaging 8,000 viewers a weekend, mailers and magazines are old hat. We take viewers on an adventure right in their living room. You and your business can help keep our community active, healthy, and young at heart for way less than you might think. Head to our website, agingandawesome.com, and click Become a Sponsor to learn more. And we'll see you Saturdays on KTVN 2 News. At Senior Care Plus, we're more than just a Medicare Advantage plan. We're your local experts in helping you understand the facts about Medicare so you can make the best decision for your health. Confused about Medicare? Then you'll want to attend our educational seminar on the ABCs of Medicare. This is not a sales meeting. It is a free seminar where you'll learn about all of your Medicare options so you can make the right choice. ABCs of Medicare. Reserve your seat today. Call or visit SeniorCarePlus.com. Someone you love 
needs a little help with the ins and outs of day-to-day living. Compassion-driven quality care. That has been the Lend a Hand way for the last 26 years. We have helped thousands of seniors with personal care, light housekeeping, transportation, and more. Still family-owned and operated. Visit LendAHandSS.com today. Lend a Hand. Lend a Hand. Our caregivers make the difference. At Caring Transitions, we often hear people say they wish they had heard of us years earlier. Relocating and downsizing can be stressful and overwhelming. As the nation's largest professional resource for household liquidation, we offer a total solution to handle every aspect of your move. Maybe you're looking to have an estate sale, downsize to a smaller home, or simply reduce years of clutter. Our experts can help. Contact Caring Transitions. We can help make life easier for your family. Are you looking for work that matters, that lasts? Then lean in, because we're a company on the move. Head over to MorningstarSeniorLiving.com. And apply today. You may be exactly what we're looking for. Another great heart. We are Morningstar. We are Morningstar. We are Morningstar. Bringing life and light is what we do. Aging and Awesome is brought to you by Eden Home Health, Northern Nevada's highest rated home health for quality of patient care. Patients have a choice. Ask your doctor for the best in-home health care, Eden Home Health. Call Eden today at 775-828-1000. Welcome back. We've all heard about walkers, wheelchairs, and crutches, so the concept of helping people move isn't new. But as with everything, there's always room for improvement. An inventor found a group of underrepresented people and revolutionized a piece of technology to help people simply walk. But that's not all it's doing. Check out the Life Glider. It's common for seniors to use walkers or other aids, but there are plenty of other people of all ages who need assistance and have different needs. Take our friend Margaret Fisk, for example. She has hypermobile version of Erlo's Downlows or EDS. Basically, it means that all of my ligaments are loosey-goosey. Margaret makes light of her condition, but it wasn't always that way. I learned to stop telling people what was going on because they didn't believe me because there was no outward sign of it. On the outside, Margaret doesn't appear to have disability, and that's common among EDS patients. So when she reached out and was turned away time after time, Margaret decided to do some research of her own and ended up in San Francisco to test out an early model of the Life Glider. I think one and a half No, not even. Basically three quarters of the way around the circle, I I was speaking more coherently. I was engaged with things. I was walking for the first time in at least two or three years without every step being ultimate torture. The Life Glider technology differs from traditional walkers in many ways, but the most noticeable one being that the user doesn't have to hunch over and hold on. It frees up their hands while being able to walk. This is to free the user to make their own breakfast, pick up a grandkid, or maybe even dance with someone. This was something that was important to the inventor. The hope is that we transform how people perceive people with mobility issues, and that mobility isn't about going from one place to sit to another place to sit. Robert Karlovich has been an inventor since he was three years old. His first creation, a bird. I made a bird, it didn't fly, and I was very disappointed that I couldn't make that bird fly. He eventually just gave the bird a new paint job in 1976 and moved on to bigger things. So I was looking for something to actually work on, and I saw a show about vets coming back from the war with these terrible injuries. And the program was really talking about how uh, their future was bleak. Like all the things that typical people are doing in their kitchen, around the house, uh, in their daily lives, was not gonna be available to a lot of these folks, these heroes. And I just thought that that was not acceptable. And after much thought came the life glider. Yeah, life changing is is not a, um, is not understating it. With the technology, Robert was able to give back what some like Margaret have lost. You know, I like nature. Being locked in my house without nature is a nightmare. And the life glider gave those back to me. The longer you can do the things that m- make your, your life work for you, 
that make you happy, that, that key you in, the better that life is. Now this is only the beginning of the Life Glider. Robert wants to make improvements, including outdoor tires and power assist, but that's for a later date. However, the goal remains to help people for years to come. To be the uh, enabler for transformation in someone's life, it's just so rewarding. It's just wonderful to be able to uh, take an idea that you have, create something that actually works, and then see it helping somebody. You just want that to happen over and over again. Closed captioning for Aging and Awesome is brought to you by Todd's Body Shop is a proud sponsor of Aging and Awesome. Did you know most insurance companies, including Medicare, cover physical therapy? Keep the one body you get able and strong with Todd's Body Shop. Give Todd's Body Shop a call today at 775-825-6450. Hi, my name is Donna, and this is Binky. Hi, I'm Joyce, and this is Bandit, and we live at Lakeside Manor. He's a miniature Yorkie. Bandit is a French bulldog. And he looks like a puppy still, but he's 10 years old. I have PTSD, and he wakes me up at night when I have a nightmare. He watched me for a while with seizures when I had a head injury, um, but I try not to get ornery. <laughs> He's very energetic. He's one of a group of about seven puppies we have around here, and they all seem to get along pretty good together. We have a big family of dogs. Even though it's seven, it's a big family of dogs. They're pet friendly here, and there's nice grounds to walk them around. He keeps me going. He gets me outside. We go down to the lake, and we go to the dog park down there, too. Our dog limit here, the weight limit for dogs, is 25 pounds. And that's a pretty good size dog. The deposit here is very reasonable, and we aren't charged a monthly fee for our animals. We have dogs, and we also have a lot of cats. We just moved here about six months ago, and he gets along real well, likes having all the other puppies, which he didn't have access to before. He loves Binky. He makes people laugh. But yeah, everybody loves a puppy. They do all get along. We like it here at Lakeside Manor. <laughs> we take a precarious spin in Kai's cab. Plus, my slick trick is some education for your medication. We'll be right back. Nevada Advanced Pain Specialists are the region's leaders in treating chronic pain. We take a comprehensive, multidisciplinary approach that treats every person's pain individually. Our unique treatments and minimally invasive procedures are implemented into our physical therapy, massage therapy, and cognitive behavioral therapy. And we want to help our patients return to a maximum level of functioning and independence without covering it up with medications. Visit our website to find out more about the region's Center for Injury Rehabilitation. Nevada Advanced Pain Specialists. Todd's Body Shop is a physical therapy facility. We are uh, very strongly family oriented. We have a lot of families that come here. Uh, we treat everyone from babies, six weeks old, up to you know, 100 year old people. Uh, the techniques we use are very gentle. We don't snap, crack, pop like some people think of when they're getting adjustments or whatever. It's, it's a very gentle technique that, uh, that um, there's no pain involved and it, it's very safe. Life is story, pages of amazing adventure and narrow escapes. Bold steps taken, races run, chapters on love and heart lessons and new beginnings. Your life, your legacy, our privilege to serve. Morningstar Senior Living. Are you looking for an encore career? At Lend a Hand, we are looking for compassionate and reliable people who can care for and relate to our seniors. We offer part-time and full-time schedules with benefits. Call Lend a Hand to get your encore career started today. 
Nevada's retired aged population is booming. 150,000 retired aged people moved here in just the last decade. Aging and awesome is all about them. Averaging 8,000 viewers a weekend, mailers and magazines are old hat. We take viewers on an adventure right in their living room. You and your business can help keep our community active, healthy, and young at heart for way less than you might think. Head to our website, agingandawesome.com, and click Become a Sponsor to learn more. And we'll see you Saturdays on KTVN 2 News. Across the country, we walk, carrying flowers that signify why we want to end Alzheimer's disease. But what if one day there was a white flower for Alzheimer's first survivor? What if there were millions of them? Join us for the Alzheimer's Association Walk to End Alzheimer's. Register today at alz.org slash walk. Howdy ho! It's off and away we go in Kai's cab. Today, a familiar face possibly a two-time winner of Kai's Cab. Claudia, Claudia, what's up? Oh, same old, same old. <laughs> what do you got going on today? Oh, I've been shopping and doing things around the house. Oh, good. Now you're in my cab. What a day, huh? You got it. <laughs> you know the rules. Three out of four questions, right? And you're a winner of some great swag. You know what, you know what swag is, Claudia? Oh, yeah. I got, I got some swag for you. If you win, I'll tell you all about it. All right, let's start playing Kai's Cab. Here we go. Your first question, Claudia. What is the longest bone in your body? Is it A, femur, B, tibia, C, humerus, or D, eucranium? I would say the femur. The femur is correct. I got a weird look on the one I said eucranium. That's your brain, right? Your head? You got it. <laughs> Femur is correct. Good job, Claudia. One for one. That one was pretty simple. For you, anyway. Question number two. What is the capital of England? Is it A, Kent, B, United Kingdom, or C, London? London. <laughs> I don't write these A, B, C, D, E. You know, I don't write the, the options. I just write the questions and I figure it out. London. Was, you're right. Oh, you're right. I, I, yes, you're right. What I'm getting at is that was kind of an obvious one. Hey, freebie though. You right? You get a freebie. Everyone gets a freebie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Claudia, you are almost a winner of Kai's Cab. You just got to get one more correct. Here we go. What is a comet? Is it A, a frozen ball of gas, B, a ball of fire, or C, a very small moon? A. A frozen ball of gas, is that your final answer? That's it. <laughs> bada bada boom, two-time winner of Kai's Cab. Why do you make it look so easy? Well, to tell the truth, the last time I didn't win. That's right, I remember that. So you came prepared, how did you prepare for this? Well, for one thing, I'm not good at geography and you didn't ask a geography question. <laughs> Did Last you time you asked two. That's right, that's right. Well, congratulations, Claudia. I got a box of chocolates from the wonderful garden shop, uh, Gardnerville Chocolate Shop, rather. And also, I have a free drink for you over at Joe Stella Coffee in Midtown and a Lend a Hand water bottle to keep you cool this summer. Ooh, sounds good. Thanks thank for you. playing Kai's Cab. And thank you. Aging and Awesome is brought to you by Lend a Hand in Home Care and Transportation. Compassion driven quality care in Northern Nevada for 26 years. Call Lend a Hand today for personal care, light housekeeping, meal preparation, and more. Lend a Hand, where our caregivers make the difference. <laughs> Here's a trick to make life slick. Staying healthy and getting your medications exactly when your body needs them is vital. But sometimes you just forget. Taking your medication should be as easy and automatic as possible. Not yet another thing you need to add to your mental checklist. Thankfully, there are many products out there that add ease and simplicity to adhering to your medication regime. Whether it's making sure you take it or making sure you don't accidentally take two doses. So the many different products we have for these old prescription balls we all know well of is you can do the Saturday through Sunday to take your medication so you don't forget. 
You can go AM, PM. But what happens when you go, did I take it, did I not, did I not have this with me? They now have a new little device that you can voice program and it'll, wake, it'll tell you, hey, it's time to take it or you've already taken one, no, you can't take another one. Very inexpensive, it was like $9.95 and these go individually on each bottle. So there are ways to make sure that you're consistent with your program. Like we said, you don't want too many, not enough. You want to make it work and this is one way to do it. And there you have it, a trick to help make life schlick. Thank you so much, George. Super important because not just seniors, anybody, if you take the wrong medication or too many or not at the right time or you can get really sick, so thank you. It's real easy to uh, get confused with so many different uh, drugs you'd be taking. There's so many uh, little things you can uh, buy that are very inexpensive to help you. Yeah, definitely. And they all look the same too, usually, right? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you so much. We'll have links for MedReminder ideas on our website, agingandawesome.com. Well, that's our show, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to head to our website, agingandawesome.com, and nominate a senior for the Aging and Awesome Adventure Awards. There, you can tell us about someone who wants to be active, but can't be due to financial reasons. They could be selected for a grant and a feature on the show. Nominate someone today. Our challenge for you this week, mark your calendars, come and join the Aging and Awesome team and thousands of others at the Walk to End Alzheimer's. Saturday, September 21st at 9 a.m. at Sparks Marina. You can register for free by heading to our website and clicking events. As always, be sure to follow us on social media. Our Facebook is where you can watch new videos and episodes with more ideas on how to stay aging and awesome. Head to our Facebook and check it out. George has been submitting a lot of fun Facebook videos recently. We got him water skiing and rock climbing. And so <laughs> those are only on Facebook, so head over there. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. One, two, three. Listen. Sometimes getting older is like a uh, rough old game of football. But there are many ways to stay active, healthy, and young at heart. That's why Aging and Awesome is moving to Saturdays at 7.30 during football season. Woo! Don't go anywhere! Aging and Awesome is coming up. See you soon! At Senior Care Plus, we're more than just a Medicare Advantage plan. We're your local experts in helping you understand the facts about Medicare so you can make the best decision for your health. Confused about Medicare? Then you'll want to attend our educational seminar on the ABCs of Medicare. This is not a sales meeting. It is a free seminar where you'll learn about all of your Medicare options so you can make the right choice. ABCs of Medicare. Reserve your seat today. Call or visit SeniorCarePlus.com.